Hey everyone, Kevin Man here, and I got a super short review on the brand new G Fuel Hype Sauce. There's been a lot of hype around this drink, no pun intended. Okay, maybe yeah. But I've heard it's really good, it's coming right up. Hello again everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. If you want to stay informed of all things caffeine related, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one on the weekends. And in today's video, I got the brand new Hype Sauce from G Fuel. I was not able to get it on my own, so a big shout out, a big thank you goes out to my buddy Bob, otherwise known as Chef Bob, for picking me up these drinks. He lives near a sheet store, and since this flavor is only sold at Sheets, he was kind enough to pick them up and ship them to me. So a big shout out and thank you to Chef Bob. You can check him out on Instagram, and if you'd like, you can also check him out on YouTube. He has his own YouTube channel where he does reviews. Thank you to Chef Bob. Let's get into this. If you guys do want to know all about the ingredients, all about the company and what you're putting into your body, I did a full line review on it when it first came out and went over all that information. Since then, I've done a review on each and every G Fuel that has come out and the only one I was missing was this hype sauce. So after today, I will have done every G Fuel that has been released in the cans up until this point and I specify in cans because I get a lot of people asking me if I can review the tubs and I don't state it overly that often in my videos so I probably should but in my comments I always let people know I don't review powders for numerous reasons so I won't be doing any of the G Fuel tubs because I don't review powders maybe someday I might review powders but as of right now I'm only doing cans therefore all you really need to know is that this drink has 300 milligrams of caffeine in it it's promoted towards gamers and they have ingredients in there to help you focus and give you lots of energy because it's got 300 milligrams of caffeine. And like I said, there has been a lot of hype around this, no pun intended, even though it is called hype sauce, it really has been getting a lot of hype. A lot of people have been talking about it. A lot of people seem to like it. And if you didn't know, it's not a huge secret, but it is supposed to be a, a raspberry lemonade flavor. Now me personally, if you've watched my channel, you'll know I, I don't really like lemonade flavors, but I still do give it an honest review. I know what lemonade tastes like. I've had a lot of different lemonades. So if it's a good lemonade flavor, I'll still rank it on being a good lemonade flavor, but personally, it's not really for me. So I'm not too hyped up about this review, but I know you guys are, and you guys are the ones that I do this for. Who else is hyped up this drink? I don't know if you guys watch him, but you should check him out if you don't. Electric Shock, he reviews all the G Fuel products, so if you want G Fuel tubs, you can check him out. And he said that this drink was like tied. He was having a hard decision. He was having a hard time trying to figure out if this was his favorite or not. And with so many cans out there, for him to be deciding, is is this my favorite? Is this not my favorite? It's really close to being my favorite. It must mean it's really good. And it wasn't just him. Dukaja also does a bunch of G Fuel videos, powders and cans. And he said that this was tied for his number one flavor. He was trying to figure out if he liked it better than the sour chug rug or if he liked the G Fuel hype sauce. And he went back and forth. He did a side by side taste test to see which one he liked best. So we have a drink here that the G Fuel reviewers are saying might be their top flavor. Let's go ahead. Let's just taste it out and see if I agree with them. Let's taste out the hype sauce. Here is the can. If you didn't know, Great graphics on the can. They got a wonderful graphics department and they go above and beyond on their cans all the time. They always have their logo nice and big. They always have their signature logo in the back. And then they do something to represent the can as well as some bright and vibrant colors because you gotta have bright and vibrant colors if you really wanna stand out. Let's taste it out. And even though you want bright and vibrant colors, all the G Fuels are clear. A lot of pre-workouts are clear as well. And a lot of drinks have started going clear because they know people don't like artificial colors. And I don't know why all the drinks aren't clear because it's gonna save you some money. You don't have to buy all that artificial coloring. I know, I know it's super cheap anyway, but hey, a penny saved is a penny saved. That, that's how it goes, right? That, that's not how it goes? That's how I say it. Collect interest on that penny, even better. See what all the hype's about. I can see what all the hype's about. That is, that is, that what I have to talk about. Carbonation's got a high carbonation to it. Sweetness, you're also getting a high sweetness out of it. Flavor profile, you're getting a high flavor profile out of it. Uh, G Fuel, killing it with their drinks. I consider them to be one of the top energy drink companies out there, even though they start off with powders. And they like to give you high carbonation, high sweetness, high flavor profile, just like Rain, just like Bang, just like some of the other top people out there that love to give you 
high everything. And for that flavor profile, I absolutely love it. It is really great. Other people could hype it up because they're sponsored, but I actually believe a lot of those people give their honest opinion on the drinks. And since I am not sponsored by G Fuel, you know I'm giving it my honest opinion. I have loved all of the G Fuels, except for Snow Cone. I pretend that doesn't exist when I rate these drinks, because that was the only bad one. In my opinion, there were a few other people that seemed to like it, but most of the G Fuels rank in the high eights and nines for me. This one's gonna be right there. But listen, uh, the reason why I like it so much compared to other lemonades and stuff is because it doesn't really taste much like lemonade at all to me. When I think pink lemonade, raspberry lemonade, lemon lemonade, lemonade limeade, whatever, I think of those summer drinks that are extremely acidic. They might be made out of like pure lemons, water, and sugar, but they're very, very acidic and they're a little bit too much for me. And out of all the lemonades that I've had, all the pink lemonades, all the lemonade, and I'm talking energy drinks and regular lemonades. This tastes the least like lemonade to me. Not to say that it's not lemonade, but it is reminiscent of a lemonade. But what they're giving you is, they're giving you a lot of sweetness, they're giving you a decent amount of raspberry. There is a touch of a, a touch of sour in there, which is why I can see why uh, Dukaja said it was competing with his sour chug rug. But I don't think it's as sour as the sour chug. The sour chug rug was like a sweet and sour candy blue raspberry. This one is a sweet raspberry with a touch of sour and a little bit of that lemon flavor. If I had to give you some percentages, I would say you're probably getting like a 70% sweet raspberry out of here. Probably like a, a around 20% of like a lemon, lemonade flavor, and then like a 10% sour flavor to it. But yeah, so I really do like it. Hype sauce, it's all that it's cracked up to be. Don't wanna keep saying hyped up. It's what it's cracked up to be. But where's it gonna be going? On the Caffeine Man rating chart. It's definitely gonna be my top rated lemonade, or as I like to call it, lemonade but i'm gonna give it a 9.4 there you can see how it compares to all the other lemonades but a lot of people do like to see what my top g fuel flavors are so i'm also going to put a couple of g fuel flavors up there as well so you can see what i thought was better and what i thought was worse not putting them all up there it's too many great job again to g fuel if only there was a sheets near me Thank you so much for joining me today and a big thank you to Chef Bob for sending me this drink i really do appreciate it and until next time have yourselves a great day or night